Morning, everybody. It's uh, 8.30 on June the 1st, first day of a new month, uh, where in May we barely eked out a minor little gain. Um, so sell in May and go away worked for the first three and a half weeks of the month. But if you missed last week, you missed six and a half percent to the upside. So trying to time it based on cliches, maybe not the best idea. Uh, Asia and Europe are unchanged to slightly lower. And uh, here we have the Dow up 190. At 8 o'clock, it was only up 138. But the big mover is CRM, Salesforce, trading 174.50 on yesterday's beat on all metrics, up $14. Last night it was up about $7, so it's continued higher, up 14.26 or 9%. Uh, Amberella, unfortunately, was a miss with poor guidance. 80.40 down 4.82 or 5.7%. Uh, and again, that was really based on the guidance, not on the numbers. Victoria's Secrets, symbol VSCO, also a beat inline numbers uh, for uh, guidance. And the stock is up 3.79 or 9.2%. Uh, HWP, which is one of the um, uh, Hewlett Packards, uh, it too beat no real reaction there, up 26 cents. And talking about, let's put lipstick on that pig, Meta changing their symbol to META from FB Facebook. Um, and another one that I mentioned yesterday morning that made no real sense with all of the monumental numbers for uh, Top Gun 2. Uh, Paramount was uh, down a little. And we had Aram Ar Adam Aaron from uh, AMC on. And all he did was rave about number of people coming in, number of shows, bigger uh, dollars and cents on ticket prices. And as I said yesterday, he didn't bother to mention anything about profits because there aren't any. Um, and the stock was trading well over 16 while he was talking managed to close 1434, which was down on the day, and this morning down another 41 cents at 1391. Uh, we, <clears throat> it, this is really, really interesting that the Biden administration has turned out to be all form and no substance. And I, I'm kind of basing that on the demographics of um, his appointees, um, most of them being people you've never heard of before who have little experience, who are hired because of their uh, age, uh, whether or not they're male or female, and of course, whether they're um, in any way showing any degree of experience. Uh, Janet Yellen was just on, and she has exactly the same attitude that um, we've seen before in Fed people and Treasury. And I, I guess I can sum it up in one word, oops. Gee, we didn't really think that was going to happen. That's the same thing that we saw uh, from Greenspan. Um, it's not the same thing that we saw from Bernanke, although, you know, he was another oops. But uh, the fact of the matter is things are not that great. There was a debate on between two of my le least favorite favorite people this morning on CNBC, Kevin O'Leary, the fraud, 
and uh, John Hope Bryant, whose entire thesis is help my people we've been discriminated against, talking about the forgiveness of uh, college debt. And actually, O'Leary made one really interesting observation and I have to agree with him 100%. I mean, this is like me agreeing with something that Kramer says. But um, what he was explaining was that there are people who never went to college, couldn't afford it, maybe couldn't get loans, and yet we're going to give the people who got the loans free a free ride and give them all of that money back. So they got a free education while people who could afford one got nothing and now are paying for that education. So, uh, you know, all in all, there's really nothing that the administration can do on the inflation front or on the economic front. Uh, Certainly, they're getting absolutely nowhere with uh, prescription costs and stuff. Um, you know, supply chain, semiconductor, all they can do is say, oh, yeah, we're going to look into that and we're going to figure it out, except that, of course, they don't. And one more minor issue that I just heard from uh, Brian Sullivan, who I really like as a moderator, <clears throat> and that is that the ports have a contract that expires the end of this month. And if you think they're going to go quietly and not demand at least inflation rises, inflation amount rises in their new contract, I think you've been living under a rock. All right, everyone. So uh, chart on the screen is the oil. We got up to 120 yesterday, actually 119.98, reversed back down on the news that uh, it was possible they were going to expel Russia and increase um, uh, drilling and pumping. Um, As far as I can see, a close above 115.68 this weekly close before the blow off top at 130 and a half, a close above that just continues the uptrend. Um, As you can see, the uptrend line here also mirrors the 20 week moving average and it's uh, looking higher. We have a much bigger base looking on the daily and we are riding up that five day moving average and rarely even coming into contact with the 20 week. Uh, The Dow is now up 208, NASDAQ up 55. Uh, Let's see what the S&P is up. Uh, Earlier it was up only eight, uh, up right now 1950. So looks like a bit of a rally off yesterday's action. I didn't, uh, the, Mortgage apps were down another 11%. um, And the rest of the information that comes out, the um, IHS manufacturing PMI, the jolts, the April construction spending, and the Fed's beige book all come out starting at 945. Have a good day. Be careful out there. And don't let these idiots tell you something that, you know, is not your experience. There's plenty of inflation. It's hurting a lot of people, and it's not a good situation, regardless of whether or not the market got oversold and needs a little more rally.